Well, we've made it to the Applegate Avalanche Zone. That up there is Applegate. And that back there is my partner. Four miles in, 45 pound packs. Getting lighter by the foot. Well, we've made it to Sun Notch, night one, and camp is coming together. It's a bit hodgepodgey, but to be expected. Mega mid set up. We got our loyal shoveler. Little kitchen there. Pretty simple setup. Single pole. Two spots. Well, it's 7.15. Trying to debate. We gotta pee. Gotta pee. I don't want to get up. Supposed to check in at eight. We can check in at eight. That's I, all for 45 minutes. Last night we had mountain houses for dinner. Mm. This morning we have peanut butter and banana with a hint of jelly, regrettably. <laughs> don't recommend the jelly for aesthetic reasons. Gorgeous day though. Well, how about that? The lake is still there. I'm gonna stay 20 feet back. Should be the start to a good day. One more. The lake might be gone tomorrow, you know? That's true. Don't camp on cornices, gang. I am not sure how many miles it is to Mount Scott, but we're gonna make it there today. We're gonna make it there today. Okay, well, we've made it to the Dutton Cliff Avalanche Zone. We want to get some feedback from the folks crossing right now before we make our final decision to go through this. If we do, it'll be one at a time. It's on the Dutton Cliffs. Stopping in a safe zone halfway through it. Well, we're about a third of the way around it. <laughs> Please note the posture of my partner. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but that third was all uphill. <laughs> it was a giant slog in like 60 degree weather. Counterintuitive. Oh. It's very much more prominent during the uh with the snow on it you know yeah really pops yeah 
And then Thielsen looks amazing. Sure does. Well, we've made it to the base of Mount Scott. End of our day two trek. The plan tomorrow is to go up Scott a bit. Oh, God. Hopefully catch some lunch while it softens up and then come down one of these two bowls. We'll see. <laughs> I'm actually excited about this. Oh, geez. It should be good. Yeah. <laughs> As long as we don't die, we're happy. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> no, well, Tomorrow's going to be sweet. Not for the bull um, that we're looking at. Nobody's been on Josh and me looking. Mm -hmm. Checking it out. I mean, we're in spring. Down, 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 It's kind of light duty compared to the vibe we've had. I know. <laughs> Gusts of at least 30 and had to wake up in the middle of the night to rock a pee. Uh, feeling is mutual, me and my partner. Uh, it was a little cold. After holding it for two nights, I decided to go number two. On my way to literally freeze my butt off, I thought I saw a bobcat. Turns out it was just a stick. Now we're gonna make breakfast and hope that the sunny side of Scott continues to be exposed and thaw out. We have not an ice sheet, which inevitably everything around us is an ice sheet right now. It'd be really great to ski on some soft snow. Going up Scott was quite a chore until I really had some time in the sun and I could really get to the exposed areas. It was really crusty um and it's my first time doing mountaineering really in the winter time so slow and steady wins the race there's the first knob camps down there somewhere we'll see what we get out of it priority here stay safe have fun make it back to camp so we can get to the Mazama rock area for our final night it's a pretty sweet bowl some good natural action and we will not be going to the peak no chance It was icy. I already knew that, but it's worth mentioning. My nose turned into a faucet. I was stumbling over my words. I have low energy. This is a potential watch out situation. 
take a step back, stay safe, then have fun. Still got a long ways to go till I'm done, so I ought to be sure to make it there. And we're off. Thanks, Scott. It was good. All right, well, 12 miles and home free to a shower, some soup, who knows? Maybe both. Uh, well, gang, I wish I could say that that's fortified cocoa. It's not. Unfortunately, that's not the case. No. Uh, we like extra trash bags. Extra trash and bags are my friend. You right? will too. Uh. Stop, drop, and roll. Oh, God. Mm. Mm. And a wise lesson, always have more than one extra plastic bag. Because yes. the, uh, the first green one I gave her had a hole in it. Oh, my. But we've made it to Cleetwood. T minus. More miles than you want it to be. Less than 10? 8? 10. Probably 10.
Well, gang, we've done it. The road crew left us a big scoop of ice cream. So thoughtful. You'll probably have to get it started. Start finishing some snacks. <laughs> We're you know. always snacking. Well, you know, you got to keep your energy up. I lost the bed, so I got to carry out the food. <laughs> yeah, so. Got to leave no trace. Leave no trace. Got to yep. pack your poo. Yep. Got to pack your poo. because That includes paperwork. Yep. Nobody wants to see that when it melts out because it's just gross. In a, a trip like this, you know, you got human factors and you've got environmental factors. We're talking spring skiing type weather, 60 degrees. Like, you know, earlier in the season, in two hours, your beautiful sunshine. Next two hours, like blinding sleet and snow, then beautiful sunshine again, and blinding sleet and snow, going back and forth. The lake kind of does its own thing. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> and you can't really control it. You just ride it out. So. Yeah, and I mean, we kind of follow suit like that. Like, yeah. I was doing my own thing going up, Scott, as you saw. It was something. And <laughs> it's not captured on video, but it's captured on my heart. And I was so wrecked after we got oh. to the top of that. Oh my God, you looked, you just looked miserable. That, you know, the human factors are evident. I say yeah. the word really like five times in you 12 look, seconds. You and, were, you looked like you had, you worked. I'm glad we took our time, had a few snacks, got some good pictures and yeah. water. You know, like that's the great thing about these trips is every time you do them, you're learning something new. Mm -hmm. We didn't have to break trail at all. This, this, no. this thing was like super easy. People had already come and packed trail. You had another foot of snow on this and you're breaking trail. Totally different ball, uh, a ball game. Just yeah. totally different ball game. You're, we would not have moved nearly as fast. We would be way more exhausted. We probably would not have done Scott because we would have been just beat. Yeah, absolutely. Just we would have done a little yeah. bit just more essential functions. Yeah, you're like, what do I need to do to get through this? Mm -hmm. Not that we wouldn't have enjoyed it, um, but we would have been tired. Yeah. It would just been a different ball game. And that's, you know, that's the nature of Crater Lake. It, she does what she wants to do. Yeah, and you just have to tailor yeah. as best you can. And have a plan B, honestly. <laughs> like if plan A is to go around the rim and it doesn't work, well, plan B, maybe I don't go all the way around the rim, but I go someplace where it's cool to ski and, you know, I can still get the same views and enjoy the lake. And, you know, if you go clockwise, yeah. you see the lake right away. You do. And you get nine miles of downhill at the end. That is true versus the counterintuitive way, which we went, <laughs> which was all uphill. Sure. All uphill. <laughs> Felt like it, at least. <laughs> it's quite a bit of uphill, but I would... Yeah love to challenge the counter argument in my mind. Yeah, it and would maybe be. maybe hit it clockwise next time. I think that's a, that's an admirable goal. I think we should try it. <laughs> I definitely think we should try it and see which way is the better way. But hey, as long as it doesn't taste like Gorilla Glue, I'm happy about that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like everything from this trip. Oh my God. I, uh, right down to the end. I made like a sleeping pad into an insulator for our stove out there and I made that the morning that we left using Gorilla Glue as adhesive, and that Gorilla Glue packed um, stove insulator was right next to our food. So mm, all the way down to the last Milky Way bar. <laughs> like Ooh. we were at the very end of that trip, and our food was still having just the slightest hint of Gorilla Glue. But overall, I think it worked out well. <laughs> Excuse me. So you know.